Hello viewers, today I am going to show you a small procedure in which I am going to inject platelet rich plasma that is PRP in a gentleman's wrist. Now you can use the same approach for uh, aspiration uh, in case it is indicated. So it is relatively straightforward procedure and I will show you how to do this procedure in a safe manner. Now you can do this procedure blind, but I am doing this under fluoroscopy, um, but it is it's a straightforward joint to inject. So if you follow the principles in the video, you should be able to do this safely. Uh, however, you want to be 100% sure that you are in the right place, then you need to use fluoroscopy. So the equipment that we need is a marking pen to mark our landmark. Then this is local anesthetic, you can use 1 or 2% plain um, xylocaine. This is a needle, 18 gauge needle that will, uh, that is, sorry, green needle which will go into the wrist joint. This is a three way tap. Um, this is your uh, dye, omnipeg to confirm the position, and this is your plated rich plasma. And once you have injected, you need this sterile dressing. Now, when you are doing any injection or any procedure, uh, some landmarks are extremely important. So, I have just drawn an Allah for you. This is roughly the radius. Now, if I ask him to lift his thumb up, this is the direction of your EPL. So, your, ins your insertion is um, lateral or ulnar to where your EPL is. Now, dorsally, you can feel the Lister's tubercle. This is your Lister's tubercle. And just distal to the Lister tubercle is your soft spot. That is the area between the scaphoid and the lunate and if you have any scaphoid lunate injury, this is the soft spot and if you move this wrist, you will feel the soft spot quite nicely. Now in terms of position, if Prashant can zoom out slightly, I will show you that I have kept a bolster underneath so that this wrist is slightly palmar flexed and this will uh, allow us uh, good access uh, when we are inserting the needle. So once you feel the soft spot, your next step will be to inject some local anesthetic, I will inject few mils of local anesthetic to make this procedure pain free or as little painful as possible and once we have done that, we will wait for few minutes. So our patient today is a 21 year old gentleman who had an injury around 7 to 8 months ago and still complains of non-specific pain across the wrist, you know the x-rays are pretty normal and the MRI has shown some generalized fluid uh, changes or evidence of synovitis in his uh, MRI and hence uh, we are planning to give platelet rich plasma in his wrist today. Now once you have given some local anesthetic, we will just insert this needle perpendicularly till we feel the giveaway and once you feel the giveaway, that means you are in the wrist and then you will inject your die. So now we were slightly uh, distal and when we checked on the fluoroscopy we were slightly distal so we readjusted our needle and if you can see um, the needle is gone in and I felt the giveaway. Once your needle you feel the giveaway all you need to do is to attach the three way tap onto the needle uh, so that the position of the needle does not change so that you do not need to touch the needle and once you are happy then you take your omnipeg dye and then you inject it into the wrist joint, just a tiny amount, just probably a few mils, just a small amount and then we will take a fluoroscopy. Now if you see the position of the needle, the needle position is quite good, we checked it up. Once you pass your dye, you can see a nice flow all from this side into, uh, from the radial aspect on to the ulnar aspects. So it is flowing quite nicely. So all I am going to do is to just aspirate this and then uh, I will inject the platelet rich plasma. So just to show you the direction of the needle. So the needle does not go perpendicular because the joint is at an angle. So if you go in this direction, uh, you will find it easier to go into the wrist joint. So the last thing is that you gently inject the PRP into the joint and it will, I can see the back pressure, if I let it go you can see the plunger is coming back, that means we are in a closed space and that also confirms that we are in the right direction. You can see this plunger coming back up, 
So just be gentle, go in, go in, go in, and it, it won't take more than three to four mils. Let's see how much it takes. So I'm just managed to inject three mils or four mils. So once you have injected everything, just keep the pressure on and then close the tap and then withdraw the needle. And this is how you either inject or aspirate a wrist joint. So we was, this was a demonstration on how to inject or aspirate a wrist joint. Now, um, in a thin patient, you may be able to do this uh, easily. However, in patient uh, in which you have difficulty in feeling the landmarks, uh, it may be a procedural challenge and you may not be able to enter the wrist joint because it is at an angle. So I do uh, most of my uh, injections or aspirations under fluoroscopic guidance as it makes my life easy and also it confirms that I am in the right space. So I hope you will like this video, uh, do give us a uh, thumbs up and please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.